Hey, 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 and welcome back to the channel. I'm Tasha, this is Tasha Pivots, where we talk about all things mamahood and homeschool. And today, we are going to do a flip through through my 12 lesson unit study called Fervor. Hey you, if you're new here, I'm so glad you're here. I'm sending you hugs and all the things through the screen and you've come on such a perfect and awesome day as always and thank you for spending your time with me. Uh, today is the day that I get to share the launch of my unit study that I have been working on. It actually released on Sunday, November 1st on my new site at TashaPivots.com where you can go and check that out after this video. And so I wanted to do a full flip through of the book and my curriculum unit study together so that you guys can see all the things if you're still thinking about it or pondering on purchasing this curriculum uh, unit study that I've created and if you just have interest because you're new here. So um, I will link all the videos that kind of circle around this um, African American United States history topic in my bottom bar so you can check those out. But let's just go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a flip through sitting down with you through the book. And then I'm going to go ahead and do it through the curriculum. Uh, with Fervor, it is a unit study. It is a 12 lesson uh, unit study that can also be extended to 16 weeks um, due to the subject matter. And it is all deriving from this wonderful book that I stumbled upon a couple of months ago. And that is The Heart and Soul, The Story of African Americans. And um, I'm so excited to cover this with you. So it's by Kadir Nelson. He is the author as well as the beautiful artist and illustrator of this book. I think that even if you didn't do my unit study, I would purchase this book in a heartbeat to have in your library. And this is probably one of the only books besides the Bible that I would say that about to the T at this moment. <laughs> so I wanna go ahead and just kind of flip through so you guys can see some of the beautiful pictures that is happening in this book. Um, it, Like I said, it's 12 lessons. It's covering a time period of at least a um, hundred years. It's starting with um, the entrance of the United States forming itself through the Revolutionary War all the way until Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement around 19, between, it's ending around 1967, 1968. So it's covering a big chunk of time, um, but in such a sweet and soulful way. So there's that beautiful painting. There's paintings in almost every page. Um, some are even double and they are just drop dead gorgeous to the point where i wish i could literally just purchase a book and rip out the pages so that we could just have the artwork in my house um here's another one this is chapter three on abolition and then there's mr frederick Douglass, and then we have some more here lincoln Some African tapestries like look at that guys that is so beautiful this alone like I probably have maybe one or two portraits of my own family that look just like this but just to see it in the artwork like I mean I could spend literally an entire video just showing you guys all the pictures I think I've shown you quite a bit but like the artwork the 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 time spent to just do these beautiful depictions are just mind-blowing. So there's that. If you're still with me, awesome. That is the book. Um, I did have a mom or two ask me for a flip through of that, so I hope that that was kind of enough so you could see it, but it really doesn't do it justice. Please go pick up the book if you can. I'll link it in the uh, description below. So with Fervor, which is my unit study created around this book, if I can get the light right, comes with, I have it bound to two uh, here, and I'm gonna show you guys, this is how I did it. it. All is 54 pages. I wanted to make sure to be conscious of how many pages it is because there are curriculums out there that are like hundreds of pages, and it comes with a cost. And so I wanted to kind of factor that in and making sure I'm covering as many things as I can for you guys, but this is very flexible for you. 
Um, it is for you to take it and, and go with it as far as you can. But let's go ahead and shoot over to the table where I can go ahead and start flipping through the pages so you can check it out. Okay guys, so as you can see, I have two options here I wanted to show you. So I, like I was saying earlier, it's 54 pages total and that is including the lessons as well as the, the student guide. And so what I did here is I have it bound for two. I created a cover also for uh, the child to have for their interactive journal. So it can be split into the two. And then this is all obviously going to be your lessons and all your details that are gonna be following um, the book. So I have that and then I have an option where many of you might go with, which is just binding the entire 54 pages. And that is totally fine too. So I'm gonna show you it this way. Um, because it's the same thing, it's just I bound these as separates, which is, you know, an option as well. So here we go, especially if you have multiple children, it might actually help. Here is the uh, cover. You will see first thing, it's 12 a lesson unit study. It is a curriculum for second grade through uh, fifth grade, but honestly, anyone can do it. Um, I would say it can even be something you as an adult that may have interest in wanting to even be a part of this, you would really enjoy it as well. Um, and then just copyright uh, details, and then we're gonna go right into contents. So here it's going to list everything as well as I have all the page numbers where you can find it. Every page is going to have a number so that you can be able to locate where you're trying to look and what you're looking for. This curriculum is going to cover the 12 chapters in this book, and it's also going to have recipes, hymns, and also some ideas for geography that you can include in this history unit study. Uh, here's my welcome note. I break it down to what Ferber is about, what your weekly, um, you know, what you could be doing weekly, and then your interactive journal, and then geography. And then there's a little note from my heart to you on here that you can read. And then I talk about the rhythm. So here is the rhythm is just letting you know that it is a 12 lessons in Ferber that can be divided into 16 uh, weeks of study. Four of the lessons are expandable into two week lessons. There's also an option for final project for upper level learners. Uh, the United States is designed, um, the unit study is designed for you to go at your own pace. So I don't want you to feel that you've got to hurry up and do everything within the 12 weeks or that if you have to put a pause or if you have to take a certain subject and you guys need to take a week to two weeks, maybe three weeks on it, don't ever feel rushed. This is really up to you. At the end of the day, you are the mama or daddy that is doing the homeschooling and you do what is best for you and your family. This is just a framework for you. Then this talks about what um, supplies you will need for the interactive journal and how that can be all worked out. I will be doing um, a video at the end of this week where you guys will see how we built our interactive journal for Zoe and just suggestions on how you can do it as well. And then here's your literature resources. So there's three primary books and we will be talking about that in the video tomorrow where I'm gonna talk about the three main books that you need as well as um, some links to using teachers, pay teachers for the second and third graders that you wanna do a little bit more um, coloring and you know details, we'll talk about it more when we get to the interactive journal. So the links are all there. So even if you downloaded this, but you didn't wanna print it, but you wanna just be able to click that, those are clickable. And then there's the supplemental reading list. So I have done some digging y'all to really find all the books that I possibly could for this um, curriculum that I thought would be great, as well as just supplemental reading that you guys can enjoy with your children with a read aloud time, as well as um, them having some independent reading time and jotting down all of their details, okay? There's also some suggestions for upper level, upper level reading levels for your children that are, you know, fourth and fifth graders or even your third graders if they're interested. And then it automatically goes into Forever Lessons Parent Guide. And all of them are going to be mapped out similar to this. You're going to get lesson one. It's going to say the title of that chapter. It's going to tell you what you're doing. I also, for each lesson, I created one to two um, 
questions for discussion with your child just to see if they are, you know, following along and um, what is honestly, um, what is just to create conversation with your kids just to see where they're at. Um, and then there's power words. I called them power words instead of vocabulary words, honestly, because a lot of them are deriving from power. And um, I want them to be able to feel encouraged, but also have full understanding what these words mean and why they are so powerful. Uh, golden truths is what I'm calling our memory verses. Um, and so I will be having those in each one. And then there's always a song. So I always want to encourage you to listen to these songs. Then there's a recipe, an activity, and then geography in which state they can um, also cover. And so, and then on this page, it's going to have the supplemental reading. So you guys can go ahead and check that out. So if you're looking for, you know, uh, those books, you already have them on that page and it just keeps going. Some of the activities will have a little bit more details listed. Um, and, but it's still following the same, if you will, protocol. So we're going to keep going. This is, again, each each one. So I'm going to kind of run through because nothing's really different under the sun on these. They're very much the same. Um, if it's something I would think for a certain chapter where I said maybe you should do, you know, encourage you to go to do two weeks, it'll have a notation at the top as well. And then we're going to go ahead and go right into the student lesson uh, guide. So again, here's that cover that you see. And then here's the golden truth. So each scripture is already written out for you. You can pull the Bible out if you want to cover that, but you are not, um, if you guys have Bible time and you want to pull it out and go over it, or they can read it right here. And these are just scriptures that we want to encourage them to not memorize, but to really just read them and study them and hear whatever it is that they feel that God is telling them in these scriptures. Now, if you are a secular homeschooler and may not want to do this, you can pass right by this. But honestly, I think in order to do any justice to African-Americans, honestly, there is such a connection when it comes to their faith. And so we wanted to make sure that we included that in there. So then we have also prayers um, from slaves and former slaves that I added in here that you'll see and for each week a certain week it'll say if there is one for them to read and um, which one to go to then I have also freedom papers for them to read when we go through that section and links and then we go right into recipes so just want you to know now these recipes came from family so I am extending my family to your family these are all um, recipes that I've passed down to me and um, I'm super excited and grateful. Like Grandma Shirley, that's my grandmother. And um, I was so excited to sit with her and just pick her brain. Like I, I've made these, but like I wanted to make sure I got them right for y'all. So we're going to encourage that. This is great grandma's Lucille's green. So this is my grandmother's mother. And then Papa's mashed potatoes because my grandpa loves his mashed potatoes. <laughs> And then we've got Grandma Birdie's cornbread. And so all of these are very simple. I also, for the cornbread, I did do an option um, for you to be able to do a gluten-free for those like my children who cannot have, um, they can't have gluten or dairy. And they've had the regular way, but we've also learned to change and, you know, pivot. And then there's hymns. Now, most hymns I have already listed in the lessons in the parent guide, um, but there are some that I linked here as well as wrote the uh, lyrics down so your child can actually read them aloud with you. And um, yeah, so there's that. And then let's see if I can get to that last page. I think it's geography. And so this is just saying this is the what we would encourage them to do for that. Uh, early learners, there's a whole coloring book, which I will be sharing with you when we do our interactive journal and bonus project for your children to do um, at all levels, but upper level definitely to do when they are done with this entire um, unit study. 
and that is it guys i believe i want to make sure i don't have any more pages i don't think i do from memory <laughs> yes that is the end that is fervor and so that's how you will see it um, when you download it again it is a total of 54 pages and of goodness to go with this book all right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that flip through of the curriculum as well as the beautiful book. Um, Fervor is here. It's available. Let's recap on all the details. So you can find Fervor at my site on TashaPivots.com under the Fervor tab where you can go ahead and uh, purchase and download the curriculum. It is a 12 lesson uh, unit study with the encouragement for 16 weeks and it is for predominantly was created for second graders through fifth grade but it is open for anyone to do if you are homeschool or unschool or if you are don't have uh, don't do homeschool but you're a public school student it is available to you as well uh, please anyone that wants to do it I there's no age limit honestly I would say that some of the topics and things maybe not for kindergarten and first grade uh, in that same capacity. But I think that it's up to you. It's really up to you how you would like to gently introduce it to your children. I am so honored and blessed to be able to do this and I can't wait for future uh, projects and endeavors. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know um, in the description or not in the description, in the comments below. And also you can email me at Tasha at TashaPivots.com. And also, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. If you want to check out, we are going to dive into our book uh, collection and what books are used for what and how I chose them to even doing a little bit of flip throughs of those. And then on Thursday, we are going to take the time where I'm gonna show you how to build out the interactive journal for your child, um, as well as that big project that I talked about at the end that is given to our um, students if they would like to do it. So without all the further ado, you can check all those things out. I thank you again. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and would love to see more. It helps me to know that it is being seen and that you're enjoying it. And until next time, I'm going to send you a warm hug through the screen. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.